1576 West Hubbard, Chicago, Illinois. Uh, scope of work is drive it, repair, and painting. This entire structure, everything except the CMU, will get painted. We're going to try to keep the colors as much as possible light in order to reflect as much sunlight. This area here is dry storage but is connected to the cold storage and we want to make sure that we're trying to keep the temperature down as much as possible. This entire wall will get painted. Uh, any type of small repairs we'll do while we're here. Make sure that we don't have any purchase for water to come in. Clean up this uh, clean up that member and then repaint. Now this type of cracking here is typical of what we're going to see throughout the building and we're going to try to find the lowest cost solution with as little impact to the overall system. So this area here in the front by the front door uh, was damaged during the installation of this new concrete by the city of Chicago or by the local utility. So we'll be replacing or repairing as much as possible this entire base and this is pretty much going to be consistent around the corner at Down Noble as well. So we have areas that are of I want to say that's not caused by the concrete company. That looks like something else is going on. So we need to determine why exactly that's happening, address the underlying issue, and then be able to repair. So this sill here, pretty atypical. So wherever we have a control joint in the system, it seems as though at the bottom we have cracking. I want to determine whether we have a solution for that so it doesn't happen again. A few years ago we did some tests on the building and I want to say these patches here are those areas where we performed the tests. But again, bottom of a control joint, crack in the base. Bottom of a control joint, crack in the base. Control joint goes away. Another test area I think here and I wonder if we could add some type of slightly flexible control joint material instead of this so these moving panels and it's not a panel it's the entire system that's been pulled away from the building is also atypical throughout
So this is where that base along the perimeter ends. It'll be all along Noble and around the corner on Hubbard. Not a lot of work here in the alley, but in the areas that are of a concern, it seems that there are some significant issues. I don't know how well you can see this, but right there. Looks like the entire system's pulling away. So where it is unhappy back here, it's really unhappy. And I don't know if we shouldn't solve for these dissimilar materials as they come in contact here to see if there's not some way to insulate that uh, That, that, that thermal shock, for lack of a better term, between the two. And all of this is coming away from the building. So a lot of movement in the system. This is one of the blast freezers, and it is precast. At the base, we've got this mortar just blowing out at the bottom of this control joint. I feel cold, a little bit of cold coming through here, which I guess is normal, but uh, I've asked the owner to reach out to their freezer contractor and show them this just to make sure that this isn't a bigger problem. Obviously we can fix all of this mortar um, and tuck point this for lack of a better term, but I wanna make sure that we're just not putting a Band-Aid on something that should be addressed. The owner has requested that this foundation, this concrete foundation be painted. We are not doing anything with that center block above. So just this concrete portion here. I would like to divert some of this what I'm going to assume is condensation and maybe just get it away from this foundation here because there's going to be uh, there's no reason for that to happen so paint, paint all of this concrete foundation here so it's more aesthetically pleasing we, this is east facing and south, so it gets a lot of sunshine. This is a cooler. I want to try to keep those temperatures down so we're not unnecessarily heating up the building. 